Okay, today is May 25th, 2020, and it's kind of a cloudy day, on and off sunshine, some drizzle now and then, uh, but not a bad day. So I'm making a video today about my wife's gardens and we want to uh, start with uh, the sculptures here. Uh, we have some very beautiful rock sculptures. Um, they need to be polished. When they're polished, they're very the, the colors shine through brilliantly, but they look a little faded. This piece of marble here. Uh, uh, when it's shined up, it looks really nice. All the sculptures are from made from rock uh, from Prince of Wales, Ireland. That's about 30 miles from here. And it has some of the rarest rock on earth. And so we're fortunate to have a bunch of it in our garden. Linda knew the artist who carved the bird baths and harvested the uh, rock. And there's some close-up pictures of some of the uh, bird baths and some of her pots. There's another bird bath down here and uh, some of the pots she's potted on our front porch. more bird baths, some more beautiful pots, very nice, some more bird baths here, rocks, some more bird baths and rocks and pots, and then our uh, house is very secluded, we don't have you can't see any of the houses around us. We have a fairly large lot here. And uh, our drive goes up 300 feet to a, a road and then another 300 feet to the highway to a, a paved uh, a road. Um, up here is my boat probably take it out tomorrow if the weather's a little nicer. Um, that's my boat storage ramp there that keeps my nice to uh, keep the boat out of the way. This is the smallest boat I've owned. Uh, I've owned two other boats in the past. Uh, much bigger than this one. Uh, this one's only 16 feet long. And uh, but it's perfect for me. I, I just when I feel like going fishing. Well, first of all, I, I look out and see if I see any other fishing boats out there in the ocean. And I can watch them through some telescopes I have and see if they're catching anything. And I just get and hook up the truck. It takes me about 10, 15 minutes to get the leave here and about five minutes, four minutes to the boat ramp and then five minutes to put the boat in so and then when I'm done I just bring the boat out and put it back in storage uh, a lot a lot less stress than leaving the boat in the water at the marina all during the summer months and whenever you have to uh, first of all it's expensive so I don't have that expense so um, Anyway, here's our Japanese maple that we planted, oh, I don't know, 15, 16 years ago. It's doing well. And uh, again, I'll show you this. Here's my uh, house number sign. And there's a view of the house 
and the setting. So it's We bought this house 19 years ago. Or, well, actually, we had it built 19 years ago. Um, this is uh, the boat again. And uh, some more bird bath sculptures. Like, this is my favorite, but it needs to be cleaned up and shined up. It's a solid piece of green jade rock from Prince of Wales and it's very beautiful when it's cleaned up but that takes a lot of maintenance um, so th this our gardens used to be tilled every year we tilled them and, and uh, but we just let them overgrown now because we it's too much work to till the gardens every year and, clear out and start over with fresh ground. There's a sculpture there that I need to clean. Another one here. And here's a beautiful bird bath that's been overgrown. And this is a made of conglomerate and so is this. That's a, a, a rock made of multiple other rocks that are molded together by uh, uh, volcanic heat, I think, and uh, they're millions of years old. So, so um, and here's the garden. It's quite nice. And uh, get another shot over here. Of the, of the, uh, The uh, garden there, and that beautiful rhododendron, and the, another day Japanese maple, and other types of rod rhodos here. The really, and the blues of those flowers are forget-me-nots, and they're all over the place. As you can see, I kind of line the, the road going up. Um, so this is, and here's here's uh, more. Now this is an all summer garden. So in the spring we have tulips in here, and but they're gone already. And then during the spring we got the rhodos, and then during the summer there's all there's other different plants that are flowering. So it's a uh, a summer long garden and we have beautiful views out of our windows of the gardens on this side of the house. This is our two Havanese dogs. They're 14 and 15 years old so they're we've had them a long time but they're in good health. I took them for a 40 45 minute walk yesterday and they were pretty frisky. The feathers on our windows are they keep the birds from hitting our windows and uh, I make these feather guards and uh, they're kind of artsy but they serve a function they keep the birds from slamming into our windows and killing themselves so that's pretty pretty nice there's another view of our garden um, so And here's our, our conglomerate bench, another piece of this special rock from Prince of Wales. It's called conglomerate rock. They say it's two million years old, I don't know. The only two places in the world that has this rock, Prince of Wales is one of them, which is 30 miles away from it. Here's another bird bath some pots and um, straight around here
uh, some more bird baths. I made of that rock. And here's here's the uh, view. A view of our out of our, all our windows and um, so in the spring and fall we see whale migrations of the humpback whales and they they're just uh, a few hundred feet off ashore when they go by you know, almost can reach out, feel like you can reach out and touch them. And they, if there's a bull, he's, they make horrendous noise when they uh, blow. And uh, they feed right here uh, occasionally. And so you'll get a group of four or, six, four or six whales bubble feeding right here in front of our house here. It's pretty amazing. Need to take down this tree it's ready to come down and probably thin out the trees a bit it's been 19 years since we've thinned them out but um, so this is our view and this is our small little 12 by 12 deck or 12 by 14 deck that I have we had a lot of other houses and had big wooden decks attached and they were nothing but lots of maintenance so this time I, I when I built this house um, this is a 12 by 14 deck and it's not attached to the house it's self-standing so there's no issues with the fascia plate or the possible leaking into the house like there is with lots of other decks that are attached to the side of the house that's in a, in a country like in an environment like ours where it rains 140 inches a year uh, it's best not to have any deck attached to the side of the house they uh, perhaps cause leaks um, here's our backyard um, uh, this is a beautiful rodeo here and uh, Over here, another roto, and some sculptures here, and um, this is uh, our, I guess you would call it our backyard, and the kitchen has a garden, kitchen garden window that looks out on this, uh, and again we we own half the lot of over here, so there's nobody going to build next to us here. Um, they can't, so it's totally private uh, environment here we have. Uh, here's our favorite sculpture, but it needs to be shined. When it's shined, it's beautiful pink marble. It's gorgeous. Now this. This, uh, this roto here doesn't, uh, oops, mm -hmm. this roto here hasn't uh, blossomed yet. And um, in our house, in our house here we, uh, we collect the wind, we harvest the water off the roof. And we have three large storage tanks that gets us through the dry spells. And so we have rainwater. But we have um, pictures, I'm doing some painting on the house, that's why the ladder's there. This is our uh, septic system that's in this big wooden box here 
Uh, the reason it's in the wooden box is because it's kind of hanging off the cliff here and we're, it's, we build, build a box around it. But it goes, it uh, cleans the water and puts it into an outfall and the outfall goes out into the ocean. Here's a grill I haven't used for 10 years. And uh, so that's a tour of the Abbott residence here in Ketchikan, Alaska. Um, let's see. Um, so, I don't normally take many pictures of myself because uh, I'm getting old, but here I am. Um, I'm halfway to a ponytail. I haven't had a haircut in four months, so I look pretty shabby here, but I think I'm going to grow up. I've always wanted a ponytail, but never had the patience to grow my hair out. But uh, anyway, um, that uh, pretty well uh, does it for this year's video of the garden, spring gardens. I might do a fall video uh, as well. So hope you enjoyed it and have a good Memorial Day weekend. Goodbye.